All right, everyone, it's your boy Zach. It's a pretty good day. I'm getting the t shirts out. This one's a small, this a large, this is an XL. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, and then after doing uh, work, I had to do my chores, which involved reading Doomsday Clock number eight. So if you saw the title, this is a, basically a play on a quote from the original Watchmen, where Dr. Manhattan says, I'm tired of these people. I'm, being, I'm tired of being caught in the tangle of their lives. Um, that's how I feel about this doomsday clock. Like, I'm done. I'm done. Oh, my gosh. This, I think the first issue came out like a year ago when I was still living in Hell's Kitchen. So many things have changed. And this thing is just still going on. And, and what it is is basically it's, it's a normie trying to be a wizard um i was reading an interview it was with uh oh God, grant morrison and uh he was talking about his arrival with alan grant he was talking about the original watchman he said you know the things i don't like from the original watchman i still don't like and he was giving some examples of how like uh, uh walter kovacs the the uh rorschach he's talking to psychiatrist and he tells him pretty standard story of an abusive childhood and it just like shatters the psychiatrist's brain he's like he goes it's a pretty banal story <laughs> like seriously so he was basically cooking him and i've heard that grant morrison had um uh did like a one shot with frank quite quietly uh, i think it was called pax americana i gotta track it down but from what i've heard about that book is they said he basically did his own version of Watchmen and it's better and it's like 48 pages so I got to find that oh my gosh um it must have come out during one of my deployments or something because I have like zero memory of that book ever coming out but anyway the plot of this is who knows it's like freaking a year and a half later these things come out every I think they do they come out monthly every two months every six weeks the last one was the was uh, the one where uh, the comedian goes, holy shit, what's wrong with your cat? And I feel like I recorded that video a long time ago, uh, like two months ago. So here's, here's, the, here's the get it over with. Here's do, do, Dr. Manhattan puppet. Get it? Oh, God. Oh. That symbolism. They're being used as puppets by Ozymandias because they're marionettes which are kind of like puppets and they're jam they're, he pulls the strings get it get it this is Jeff Johns the most normie like Walmart target guy in the world and he's tried to take over the wizard shoes the curly the pointed uh, curly uh, uh, silver heeled wizard shoes of, uh, of Alan Moore and it just doesn't work. So then we get to get some out of the White House, and then hey, do you remember? Do you remember the Superman movie from like 1979? Remember how you don't call me Chief, and the, and the they're talking about the freshly squeezed orange juice. Yeah, it's, it's like 40 years later, we're getting the exact same thing. Um, so then we get to so one of the things when Grant Morrison was like uh, roasting Alan Moore, he goes, "We get it." You kick, you got kicked out of high school for selling LSD. You're clever. <laughs> it was like it was very acidic, but it's like I was looking at this and I was just getting bothered. The nine-page grid was something that Alan Moore, they I think probably came from Alan Moore. They came up with it was like thirty years ago. It was kind of pretentious, but it did work. But then it worked. We all know the trick. So this is just visually undynamic for no damn reason it's just remember watchmen remember the thing they did what if we did that thing the, the, the thing we did the thing the deal is jeff johns you're not that clever you're just like a normie nice guy who writes basic superhero stuff like I, I, there's there's no way no way i am i'm, I'm done i'm ruining the next four of them um so anyway uh I don't even care about it. Firestorm. Everyone's freaking out. He turns these people to glass. And then he's trying to turn them back into glass. Now, the thing is, actually, 
there's some plot stuff here that actually works out kind of okay, but it's just so miserable. <laughs> like, everyone talks about the original Watchmen being really dark, but it was almost like an action comedy in some of the, that's what I was talking to a friend and I was saying like, I, you know, I like the old ghost, the ghost in the shell, like manga, the first one is, it's basically a lethal weapon with robots. Like it's an action comedy. I don't know why all the anime, they have to be so dour and slow and everyone's depressed. Like it was, it was goofy. Like there was, there's a lot of jokes in the original Watchmen. There's no jokes in here. It's just like miserable. And they're just throwing in like DC characters, but they're like, they're misremembering Watchmen as this really, really miserable book. And it was like fun in parts and it was funny. I mean, all that stuff with little midget gang leader in the prison and like Rorschach just roasting him figuratively and literally. And Rorschach was like always cooking everyone. Like he could not come within 15 feet of you and not roast you or, or say something like, deep like i love rorschach but uh, anyway yeah this is sucked something syria that's topical i guess i'll just skip forward to the end if there's anything cool batman's in a plane talking yeah i didn't care i hate this book so much <laughs> like he wore me out i remember when i remember dude, god dude, fall of 2017 feels like it was 20 years ago but they had Mr. Miracle, and they had Batman White Knight, and they had Doomsday Clock, and it felt like something big was going to happen. It felt like maybe it was like DC in like 1986, or they had like uh, uh, Dark Knight Returns and Watchmen, and I believe Saga of the Swamp Thing was 85. Anyway, it was it was like a real like new, no, no. Batman White Knight was the best of these by far and is a legitimate classic. And they're already working on this the sequel. I forget what it's called. It has Azrael in it, so that's cool. Um, but this is just... I wouldn't even call this trash. But like I said, this this cover is the perfect epitome. It's a normie in like khaki pants trying to be a wizard. Like, there's Dazi Badius is pulling the strings. That's symbolism. <laughs> symbolism. It's, it's a it's a layer it's it's a layer of symbolism below symbolism. Symbolism. Stupid. You're stupid. So uh, anyway, that's all I got to say. Um, it felt like such a chore to read it. I like it. It brought me down. I don't have that like sick feeling I have when I when I read like SJW. But like this was such a chore. I was literally like I was like. Package, put two t-shirts in, read a page. It took me like a frickin' hour. Huh. But anyway, I'm caught up on my comics. I actually ripped two. I had two X-Men comics, and then I, I, I ripped them because I was tired of them haunting me. <laughs> they were from last week. They were haunting me. I couldn't, I couldn't get away from them. So I just ripped them, and I was like, I'm free. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone giving to the uh, GoFundMe. The Indiegogo and the Patreon. Speaking of Patreon, speaking of Patreon, uh, Patreon had this controversy where they kicked, they've been kicking like a lot of people off for politics apparently, uh, which has had a weird effect because then people started getting mad about that. And then they, they were writing me these emails. They're like, hey man, I still want to su you know support you, but I can't in good faith give any more uh, because they're, they're basically saying that um, and this is like a whole big controversy, but it's this weird thing where corporations are basically deciding what you can believe in. And it's actually pretty scary. Um, but uh, so they've been uh, recommending something called Subscribestar, which makes me think of Coinstar, but I guess it's Patreon-ish. But God, 2018 just sucks. You have to think about Nazis every day because of these wacko SJWs who can't handle... Hillary losing two years ago. So when people recommend subscribe star, I can't just join it. Like we live in a normal world. I have to go investigate it because God forbid if one alt-right organization is also using that application, then by the transitive factor of psychopaths, every single person is still, you know what I'm saying? You gotta freaking, it's, 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 it's 
freaking Crest toothpaste okay? Is that okay? Is that it's the toothpaste of the all right? Freak shows. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll have uh, more new comic reviews up tomorrow.